Hey guys, this is Korajit, your best friend in programming and in this video I will show you how to install C Sharp. Now you already know C Sharp is the most popular programming language made for the .NET framework. There are other alternatives of course you can code using the .NET framework using languages like C Sharp, Visual Basic .NET, even F Sharp. But C Sharp is by far the market leader and has its own huge fan following. There are actually two ways you can get C Sharp. You can install it using the .NET SDK which can be installed in a variety of methods. I will show you a couple. And you can also install it as a part of the Visual Studio IDE. So if you download and install Visual Studio IDE, you'll get C Sharp. And I actually recommend it because if you're going to code in C Sharp, you will need some sort of IDE. And Visual Studio is the best IDE by far to code in C Sharp. Nothing beats that. And the best thing is it's free. The Visual Studio Community Edition is free for personal use for programmers. And you can even create complete applications in it. No restrictions. So go ahead and install Visual Studio IDE. If you're going to code in C Sharp, I will show you exactly how to do that. And as a bonus, I'm also going to show you how to set up C Sharp on Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code is a multi-purpose IDE, again from Microsoft, that you can use to code a lot of different kind of applications from JavaScript to Python to anything you want. It's very, very flexible and C Sharp is also 100% supported. I will show you how to set it up on Visual Studio Code. C Sharp is a part of the .NET platform and you can install it on your computer by downloading .NET. To do that, go to .NET.Microsoft.com ENUS download .NET. So you can even Google it. I think that's going to be easier. So, so just search for install .NET and you will get the first link pointing to the download. So you've got .NET 7 which is the latest .NET version. And .NET 6 was before this, but it's long term supported and .NET 7 is standard term support. So I would say if you're going to start an application today, by all means, go ahead and use .NET 7. It's got additional goodies that's going to be useful for you. And you can also download and install .NET SDK. So .NET SDK is actually uh, not just C Sharp and .NET, but it also has a lot of development tools that you can use to create applications. So that's going to happen in a moment. When it's done, you can just install it. The .NET SDK installer will show up. Click on install. If it prompts you to give it security permissions, do that and it will be installed in no time at all. And you will see an installation successful message. Close it. And how do we know whether .NET is installed or not? It's very simple. Open a command prompt and then type .NET. If .NET is installed, C Sharp is installed, you will see this kind of usage instructions. So this is how to do this manually using the .NET SDK but there is actually an easier method and I would actually recommend that over using the .NET SDK installation and that is Visual Studio Community Edition. So if you look for Visual Studio Community you will be taken to the latest version over here. The latest version right now is Visual Studio Community 2022 and if you download it you will get the Visual Studio installer. It's only 2 MBs and it will actually be the gateway using which you can install the rest of the application. So it's just going to take a minute and on my computer I do have the Visual Studio already. So it will not show you install from scratch options but what you're going to see next is pretty much the same that you will see even if you install afresh. Alright, so here we go. If you go into available, you will see all the different versions of Visual Studio that are available to you. Now, I install Visual Studio Community and I strongly recommend that you install Visual Studio Community too. It's free for programmers like you for personal use. So go ahead and use the community version. If you want to get access to the latest features, maybe not even available to the rest of the market you can use the preview version you can install the preview version it will give you access to the latest features which are in beta not launched in the market yet now if you're going to make an application for commercial use i strongly recommend that you stay away from the preview because many of those features might be changed or might not end up getting out in the market the same way and you might have code that doesn't work at the end of the day so go ahead use the community version 
and install it on your PC it's gonna take a little while and once it's done you will have full access to Visual Studio IDE and all the features of C Sharp now one thing I want to tell you you can modify the installation quite a bit so if you click on modify over here alright so this option will show up actually after this update has finished so we're gonna wait for a couple of minutes so if you click on modify you will see a complete list of workloads available to you Visual Studio can be used to create a wide variety of applications for every single use that you can imagine so you can create web applications using ASP.NET that's the ASP.NET workload and I work a lot on ASP.NET so I've got it checked and if you are into cloud computing or DevOps then you can use Azure Development 2 and you can host your application directly in Azure and if you want to do Python Dev that is possible through Visual Studio IDE and you can use it but I would recommend that you use Visual Studio Code similarly for Node.js it is supported and you can develop Node.js apps using Visual Studio again I would recommend you use Visual Studio Code for this but you can also create mobile apps using the .NET MAUI platform which is very new it's kind of like a new iteration of Xamarin and it's got a lot of capabilities so you can create applications for Android, iOS, Windows and Mac all from a single package all from a single solution single project using MAUI so this is something that is a breakthrough technology I am excited about it and I did try to make an app in it but the first time I didn't make a commercial app but maybe later and if you want to do only desktop development you've got WPF or Windows form so you can install that workload too if you work in any other language in C sharp you got the C++ workload but I wouldn't recommend it because we are talking about C sharp here and C sharp is quite adequate for most development tasks that you would need alright then so once you're done with the installation it will make Visual Studio available to you and you can just find it on your operating system click on the icon and this is how Visual Studio will look to you and this is how Visual Studio looks start off a new project or open one of the earlier projects that you already have and finally I want to tell you about Visual Studio Code this is also an excellent IDE for programmers it supports a number of different languages you can just click on download for your platform and it will be downloaded run it and install it accept the agreement next next and install by the way Visual Studio Code is built in Electron and you do have Electron tutorials on my channel that you can look at alright so once that is done you can launch Visual Studio Code this is how it looks this is the dark mode and to get working on C Sharp all you need to do is install an extension C Sharp for Visual Studio Code this extension is developed by Microsoft and it will give you C Sharp basic tool set IntelliSense syntax highlighting and all the goodies that you need to do C Sharp development but then again the best ID for C Sharp development is Visual Studio and not Visual Studio Code so I would recommend that heavily alright this wraps up our little demo of how to install C Sharp and get it on your computer so that you have access to it I hope you will get down to it right away and install C Sharp on your computer I'm going to show you in later videos how to work with C Sharp we're gonna start with the fundamentals I'm gonna walk you through each and every feature and show you real life code examples of what you can achieve with C Sharp so make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like this video so that it reaches the maximum number of people this is Kodajit, your best friend in programming, signing off.